Hello, Machine Repeat, Dan Sullivan with Sullivan Auctioneers. Greg, we had another record set at auction today in Presho, South Dakota, just south of uh, Peter, South Dakota, for Cannon Farms, and a uh, really nice sign of equipment. Uh, they called about 30 days ago and want to know how quick we could have a sale. And uh, the next day, Matt and Luke Sullivan, my two nephews, the sale managers, flew out there and booked the auction. And we had a lot of interest, a lot of bidders from several states. But uh, we had this uh, 2012 9560R tractor, about $356,000 today on the Cannon Farms auction in Presho, South Dakota. The next item we thought was a real strong sale was this 2012 8360R. As you can see, this tractor grade about $272,000, 272000 And the momentum just keeps growing. Here's a, a Case IH 4430 sprayer, 13 model. Brought $300,000 on the uh, Cannon Farm auction today once again in uh, Presho, South Dakota. I ask all the viewers to, to stay on and listen to the end of this video as you follow up with a commentary on some price comparison. Thanks for all you do, Machine Repeat. Thank you. Hey, Machine Repeat here, folks. Thanks to our great friend Dan Sullivan with Sullivan Auctioneers for that report on the online uh, farm estate auction today out in uh, Presho, South Dakota. Wow. Uh, the avalanche of strong prices just continues here, folks. Just to kind of reinforce uh, a couple of the items that Dan highlighted, this 2012 John Deere 9560R, 543 hours on it, uh, selling for $356,000. Uh, if we hop into machinerypeat.com, our website, and click on the Auctions tab and then Auction Price Data, you can uh, click through to John Deere 9560Rs, and if you filter by highest prices first, you're going to see that today's price of 356 I mean, that is a record by $68,500. Now, yes, super low hours. It's 10 years old, 543 hours. One owner, kind of the dream tractor to find there, but still, 68,500. Uh, amazing. And note the previous high price was back uh, mid November of 14 on a 13 model. Uh, it was on a Ritchie Brothers sale down in Texas, but that, that thing was like brand new. One year old at the time, so again, 356 on the 9560R. And then, if we talk about the sprayer on today's auction, this 2013 Case H Patriot 4430, again, crazy low hours, 379 hours. But uh, if we talk sale price on the sprayer again, came in at 300,000 today. And I've punched up here the highest auction prices ever on Case H sprayers. Uh, Actually, let me update this uh, right here. And you can see the, that price today, 300000 that's the second highest price ever on a Case IH sprayer. Uh, interesting to note, the only higher one was just a month ago in Francisville, Indiana. That was a 4440 with uh, 638 hours. But today, record price on the, on the Patriot 4430 at 300000 Now, there was one other record set today. And as Dan mentioned, it was on the 8360R, and here's a up-close look at it. Now, if we go get the details uh, back to machinerypeat.com, where we've, we've pumped in all these auction prices uh, already here from the auction today. And again, you can sort by highest price first, and you can see we've seen almost 200 8360Rs sold over the years. 272,000 bucks today on the 12 model with 1,620 hours on it. IVT transmission, ILS suspension. Again, record high auction price, 7,000 over the previous record of 265. And note that previous record was December 17th of 2014. I actually covered that auction. That was in Washington Courthouse, Ohio. I think we filmed it for our Machine Repeat TV show. That was a 14 model 8360R with only 149 hours on it. So again, it was. It was a 14 model selling at the end of 14, hardly any hours on it, brought 265. And today, a 10 year old 12 model with 1,620 hours on it sold for 272. So if you want the whole uh, sale price report from the auction today, folks, just go to machinerypeat.com, click on the auction tab, then auction price data, and you can hop in and look at the prices. I do want to uh, real quick touch on a, a couple other. Uh, data points here. People, you know, comment on why these crazy, seemingly crazy high prices. Well, a huge factor is the supply issue. 
with uh, farm equipment dealers. So what you're looking at here, this is kind of from the back end of our machinerypeat.com website. Uh, the blue line is the number of 175 plus horsepower tractors for sale going back two years. So on the left, that two years ago, look at the gap between that orange line, which is search traffic clicks on 175 plus horsepower tractors. So that's a demand, people shopping for high horse tractors. And look what's happened, that blue line just tanking. Again, this is what's, you know, a huge part, what's behind these, these very, very strong prices. Uh, I totally understand when, you know, when people reflexively say, well, it's inflation. It is way, way, way more than that. It's structural things in the market. And again, the supply, we've never seen this tight of supply. And again, this is on a high horse tractors. Now, if we look at uh, sprayers, and again, we had a record price on that uh, Case IH Patriot 4430 today. Here's a look at sprayers, self-propelled sprayers for sale going back two years. And again, the blue line is the supply line and the orange line is the buyer demand what people are clicking on and again look at that blue line just tanking lower um, so this is the thing when you project forward the rest of 2022 into 23 I, I completely understand you know the instinct we all have that makes us want to say the markets you know these these high use prices will just drop off a cliff whenever and why ever things uh you know the commodity markets soften up but structurally we have not seen this before every other time that used that the commodity prices have softened there's been an excess of late model used equipment on dealer lots large horse tractors large horse combines large sprayers and again right now we, that is not the case if you look at that again that blue line you know, even if commodity prices dropped off a cliff tomorrow, that doesn't change the fact there's a limited supply. And by the way, you can't get new because of the supply chain issue. So just be aware of these factors. And again, just something to chew on and consider when you see like that price today, 356000 on that 10-year-old uh, 9560R. The supply issue is uh, a big piece of this thing. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com.